Hello there, this is me drawing a picture of a diamond bat. And I'm not going to talk to you about it, but Commander Kinetic Impulsor of Guard Frequency is. And Guard Frequency is a podcast that comes out on a Tuesday, and it's all about space games. And they like to talk about uh, Elite and Star Citizen and things like that. And he knows lots about Diamondbacks, and he's given me this fantastic rundown of why we should all own one. The Lacon Spaceways Diamondback Explorer thinks it can do just about anything in Elite Dangerous. It thinks it can explore deep space and planet surfaces. It thinks it can sneak around undetected. It thinks it can be an attack helicopter. It thinks it can be your long-range taxi. It's the little spaceship that could. The DBX, as it's affectionately known, is a utilitarian design, like the A-10 Warthog. Its form follows its function. It's a space tool to do space jobs. It's not a wireframe, flying Dorito, or sleek lawn dart. The DBX is what you get when an Apache attack helicopter and the Raptor from the Battlestar Galactica series have a baby. It's a working ship with worn coveralls and a scratched helmet, and if the company would spring for new paint, well then maybe you would care about its appearance a little more. Uh, maybe. The DBX is a small ship, meaning you can land anywhere. Remote outpost, no problem. Guardian Relic Site? It's practically a specialty. Weird Lava Plane? Hey, there's a blue dot on your landing radar coming right up. It will set down places that a crate or a python just won't go, let alone an anaconda. Of all the small ships, only the Dolphin and the Vulture have more module slots than the DBX. It's got room for SRVs. It can fit sensors and flight assists, plus a jump range extender, a module repair unit, and a multi-limpid controller. With two module slots of each size, one through four, it can be made into almost any type of ship you want, from smuggling to exploration to light combat. Combat, I hear you ask? Why, yes, I reply. The DBX is reasonably quick and maneuverable, but it has the best hardpoint layout of any small ship with two mediums and one large. This gives you the maximum flexibility and choice of weapons. And the hardpoint locations are perfect, with your heavy gun placed right on the center line and the two medium weapons just to the left and right of the cockpit. DBX pilots have heard of convergence problems, but it's not something they worry about. Let me tell you, there's no better Odyssey experience than stuffing a pair of dumb fire missiles on those cheek hard points and taking out pirates running out of abandoned bases. Bounty collected. Bounty collected. And you can do it all on the sly, too. With the right engineering, the DBX is one of the coldest and fastest ships in the game. Sure, you can get some ships colder, but this ship can get in, do its job, and get out again without anyone the wiser. While stealth is generally underrated and unused outside of Thargoid combat, it just feels right to go cold and sneak into that covert ground operation under the radar. Let's talk exploration for a minute. The DBX has legs. Maybe a completely tricked out crate phantom or an anaconda or a dolphin can jump farther, but can it bring the goods with it? Once you figure out you're going to actually need to accomplish something when you get to the end of your long jumps, the DBX starts to shine especially at the Guardian sites. Bring a size 4 planetary vehicle hangar with two SRVs, you know, just in case you lose one to the Sentinels, and then pack a pair of point defense cannons in the dorsal utility slots so you don't lose that SRV to the Sentinels in the first place. Hang a laser from the chin hard point so you can wake up the deep space Guardian key vendors. It's like the DBX was made for doing exactly this job, you know, even though it can do so many others. The Diamondback Explorer, an underrated, underappreciated gem in Elite Dangerous. One look at it, and you know it's going to work hard to get the job done. As the saying goes, she may not look like much, kid, but she's got it where it counts.